she's undoubtedly old. I mean, there's no way you can pretend that this is a, a young woman. You know, it's, it's sort of this annoying thing that people think they're giving you a compliment when they say you look younger than you are, as though we should want to look younger. She looks her age, and she looks, to my mind, absolutely bloody marvellous. You know, you can see see the wrinkles, you know, you can see the skin. That's what happens to our skin, I mean, it's happening to mine. You can still look wonderful. older tennis players, older athletes, older sportsmen and women, those were the words I put in, and waited for the images to come up, and there were none. The moment I put in that word older, what I got were pictures of old people, basically in care homes, kind of slumped in chairs, the kind of negative imagery that was absolutely dominant when you started thinking about aging. But I knew from playing tennis, there were plenty of us in our, in our 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and beyond being active and being anything but what those images that I was looking at represented. In a world where we girls and women are, co are constantly policing ourselves as to how we look, do we look feminine enough, do we look kind enough, are we people pleasing? And suddenly you're seeing these older women who are unselfconscious about facial expressions, also throwing their bodies around with abandon. It was a massive lesson for me. As something I just thought was, that needed to be documented. been sporty and when I was when I was a young kid I loved swimming and I wanted to swim in the Tokyo Olympics of 1964 that was my goal um, so I was I was I was quite good in the under 10s and then I started playing tennis and I got fixated on tennis because my best friend at school was a tennis player the standard over here was really was was phenomenal and although I was kind of a, a junior county player I wasn't really up there but in Greece I was up there so I started playing as a Greek because I got dual nationality going to Wimbledon and playing at Wimbledon I can't even begin to describe how wonderful it was because I went to school in Hammersmith and I, 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 was, I lived near Putney Bridge so after school um, right from the age of 12 13 I used, we used to get the train to Southfields and queue up and get the tickets that, that you, you get in after five. So I was used to, to going and being a fan and just being obsessed with Wimbledon. And suddenly I was, I was going through a player's entrance. I had a badge. Oh gosh, it was just, it was amazing. I don't think I could have coped playing in an Instagram world with the kind of body shape that I had. And there's no way I, I, I would have coped. I would have felt too vulnerable, too self-conscious, um, too exposed. Mm. What a loss that would have been. Well, wow. I mean, there's this negative imagery about getting older. I had just turned 60. I didn't really think of myself as old. I thought I'm kind of middle-aged. But I love being a beginner. And that was when I thought, oh, maybe, maybe I'll take photographs. So I'll, do, I'll be the one to go and take photographs. I've got access to the tennis players, and I was off. That was goodbye academics and hello photography. Yeah. So, so this is is seriously one of my favourite pictures because I worked so hard to get that shaft of light and it was it was in Turin in, in 2013 so quite early on uh, in my photographic career there was a shaft of light coming through a hole in the roof 
I fixed my camera on the woman who was running in that lane, and I just hoped that I would get her as she came through. Rose Green is 80, and I mean, she is just a phenomenon. This was her in Malaga, year before last. She just became world champion in the 400 meters. And I'm, I mean, look at the, the muscle tone, the muscles. Look at the body. I mean, that doesn't just happen. She's 80, 80. So on the wall, that is, that is Linda Oxlade. I love that picture. And I, I, I put it above my desk so I can look at it every day, really, um, and just think why I do what I do and, and what I love about sport and, and what it can give us. And um, yeah, she embodies all of that and, and how it just, I mean, age, it doesn't, it doesn't change whatever your age is. You can still really love your sport.